You guys are super excited to be in game week and, uh, and to be in a Monday and the first day of school. I know there's a lot of distractions right now for the players, um, but they're good distractions. That's what they're here for is to go to school. So this afternoon we'll buckle back down and have what would normally be a Wednesday type practice for us in the middle of the preparation and really our last day of heavy preparation, heavy contact. I think our players are uh, on track and ready for the game. Um, well, they're going to be really fast. They'll be one of the fastest teams that we play all year, I think. Uh, I've watched some of our first few opponents. And we play Washington State, of course, in Game 3. And, and uh, those are our two le uh, games where we're playing a level up. And I think South Alabama has every bit the athleticism and speed that, um, that Washington State has. So it'll be a great challenge for our players, a great opportunity for them. It's what they uh, dream about, you know. And uh, I'm glad that these games are prior to going into the big sky because that needs to be a separate and, and somewhat different focus is to get into our league championship and play teams that have similar resources and similar similar schedule to what we have. Um, really, I think Aaron Cantu has a chance to be as successful as any quarterback we've had. He makes great decisions. He gets the ball out quickly, understands the offense really well, and, and our receivers seem to be um, really uh, the timing that they have established with Aaron has been impressive through camp. I feel good about our running backs. It'll be somewhat by committee. Uh, we feel like that we have certain guys that uh, can work into our passing game better and certain guys that can work into our running game better. So early on during the season, I think we're still in a tryout phase of running backs, but I'm very enthusiastic about the guys that we have. You said that this offensive line may be the best we've had. Can you talk about that a little? I, I think it is. I, we have two returning starters, Gavin Farr and Cody Burgess, and other guys have played very well for us. Cody has been you know, on and off healthy the past couple of years, so hopefully he'll be able to maintain his health. He's worked hard in the offseason. He deserves to play healthy all year. Gavin is three-time all-conference and a big leader for us. And then we moved two of our really good defensive interior linemen, a uh, starting player, Brad Meyer, and a player who was playing significantly, Nick Niss, and they brought a lot of athleticism and strength to our offensive line. And then the right tackle position right now is being held down by Darren Griffin, and Darren has worked hard for it his whole career. I'm super excited for him.